What up, baby? It's another beautiful day in South Louisiana. Right now, we're sitting at the mouth of Lake Verrett. Coming from Stevensville, we headed to Napoleonville. I won me three tags through the Louisiana State uh, bidding system for the alligator lottery. I won it on Am Hall WMA in Napoleonville, Louisiana. So we're heading out there right now, baby. Y'all come along for the ride. Let me show y'all a few things. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. The mullet are jumping just absolutely everywhere out here. And I think we're going to have a fun time. Something new for y'all to see. And I hope y'all enjoy it, baby. Well, we made it out here, baby. We on the WMA right now. The tide. Well, that tide pulling strong out of here. But just like any good thing, you know, like a deer, a bird, anything you're hunting in life, even fish, you know, you got to do a little scouting. When I was coming in here, I seen a couple of little alligators and everything. You know, they got the old little oil field station right there. I think I'm going to leave that be. I ain't going to put that on camera. But that's a beautiful day out here for sure. We're going to do a little riding around. I'm going to do a bunch of scouting. Kind of just see where they got a couple alligators at and everything. It's a no wake zone right here. So, you know, one thing about Louisiana, we're so beautiful. We have so many natural resources with us, you know. And the state provides us with these places to go hunt and fish and enjoy nature, you know, go watch the birds. So when you come to these places, read the rules, read the regulations, make sure you check into them and do the right things, you know, because they do take care of these things. They do manage them and it really helps our population. Louisiana is like no other place in this planet, you know. We got WMAs on Harland, we got WMAs in the middle of the river, we got WMAs in the swamp and lakes, you know. So they give you the resources to get outside, you know, and especially if you got young kids, bring them with you. Let them get to experience this, experience this so we can bring the next generation of kids and hunters and trappers all out in this swamp, you know. It's just such a beautiful place and I'm just so glad I have the ability and opportunity to do this. And the swamp, you can see that old water, old black water, you know. So we're riding back here in the canals. I'm gonna go a little bit further back. They got a cut back there. I'm gonna kind of see what they got in there. Kind of just kill the mold and kind of just watch and observe. But other than that, baby, let's get it. I think I found me a good little tree right here. <clears throat> it comes out the swamp. So you gotta think about it. If you're a big alligator, where you gonna hide at, you know? So if I was a big alligator, I need shelter, I need food and protection, but I need an easy way to get to the food when it comes time. So they got an open swamp back there. So this looks like a really good spot for a lot of alligators to come in. So I get two hooks per tag. I got three tags. So we're going to put six hooks out. Get anything extra. We're going to release them as humanely as possible. Let's see. I'm messing up. I'm trying not to harm the trees. So... That's pretty good right there. Let's see right there. I have my, uh, what do I do with my clothespins? Let's see. I think I'll put them in my bowl. Yep. Yeah. Get these old uh, clothespins from Walmart, you know. Get a big old pack of them for a couple of dollars, you know. We're going to use that to hang our bait from. This boat stopped moving. It's so hard. My buddy, my buddy that was supposed to do this with me, he's at work. But that's all right. Let's see. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You know, when you're doing stuff like this, don't don't get yourself frustrated or anything like that. Just try to stay calm and relaxed. And I'm going to get this rigged up. I'm going to show y'all all of that. The boat's moving and rocking. But let me get that rigged up. I'm almost done. I got my rope. I got to tie my hook to that. So that's what your final rig up should look like according to the rules. I got my name. I got my number. I got my flagging. It's tagged. I got the right hook. I got the right string. Everything looks proper. I'm trying not to get too close to my phone number. Don't come on there, baby. But you see how high I got it up from that water? 
Hopefully we get something. I'm going to keep riding around, trying to find some good spots. I'm going to probably wind up dropping another hook in here, and we're going to head up, head up the bayou and go put another one. So I've been running around. I found some nice spots with some nice gators in it. This body right here got some gators in it, boy. So if you're not from South Louisiana and you don't really know the history, so this right here, this is Spanish moss. Back in the earlier days, though the men and the women, they would come out here in pirogs and little, little poles, and they'd come out and they'd come collect that old Spanish moss. They'd grab that off the tree. They'd bring that back to the, uh, the land, take it and dry it out, and they'd make sofas, chairs, pillows, mattresses, anything you can name to use it as a cushion, that's what they would use, and they'd get pennies. I mean, pennies for that. But back in the day, you know, that was, that was good money for a trapper that didn't have a whole lot going on, you know. But today, it kind of just sits in the trees, it grows, it's pretty. You know, it gives shelter for different... Okay, <laughs> some one of them little birds mad at me. <laughs> but today, it just sits in the trees, you know, it provides shelter for insects and different things like that and different things for the environment. But for today, we're going to hang an alligator line right by it. <laughs> so, man, it's getting hot. It's almost one o'clock. But I'm just, I'm having fun. I really am. It's just something so peaceful, just being out on the bayou. In the swamp, just enjoying nature. I just, it's just something about me, you know, it, it's heartfelt. And then doing something to conserve the heritage and the preservation of alligators for future hunters and trappers is just something like no other, you know. So, I know I don't do everything right, but you don't have to be perfect to come out here, you know. The best way to learn is to try. You never learn if you don't try. You're going to fail, but you're going to learn from your mistakes and your failures, you know. <clears throat> like this tree. This tree might break. We don't know that. But we're giving it the benefit of the doubt. I shook it a little bit. I didn't want to shake it too much and disturb anything. So. <clears throat> we get this all wrapped up. Well, I'll tell you what it's hot. All right. Take me a clothespin. Put my slack. Tie my slack up like that. Look at that. Call me some Spanish moss. Oh. Take me a nice leg quarter. Hang them on there like that. And then I'm going to bring it out. There's a branch out there in the bayou. And I'm going to let that hang. And I'm going to tag it. And I'm going to show you the whole rig up when I'm done. Now you see how I come from the back? It come across the tree like that. And just come down, hanging about a foot and a half, two foot over the bayou. I got two more hooks to put out, baby. But we'll cut you back on tomorrow and we'll come see if these things got some gators on it. All right, baby, we're back in the swamp. It's the next day. We'll come to catch some gators. Come check them out. He's all wrapped up in the cypress trees. Let me show you. I got to try to get that sucker out of there. I don't know. He's probably about five, six foot long. Look at him. So, let's see what we can do. I'm crank my motor, get closer. Let me get by They all wrapped up in the cypress knees. I'm wrapped up in the cypress knees. <clears throat> They're pretty decent. This is where the fun starts. A lot of gators. They stay pretty calm for the most part. So 
Don't ever just put that sucker. Don't ever just put that sucker in the boat. Cause he can still be live. So we go give him a second to chill out. You know, you can see he's starting to he's starting to come to. So we'll let we'll let him do his thing, and we'll cut it back on when we're loading it in the boat. All right, he finally succumbed. You can see, just got some electrical tape. You want to be careful when you're doing this, cause you don't ever know if that gator is just gonna come back alive, and you're gonna wind up getting needles all in your arm because you're getting tetanus shots because you got so much bacteria on you. Now we got the gate in the boat. We got to get our tag. That's the most important part of all of this. Throw in this pamphlet. We got our three tags that Wildlife and Fisheries provided for us. We'll pull one tag off of there. <clears throat> I'm gonna get my good knife back there. Gator. Slice him like that. Hope he don't come back alive. I'm gonna lock that suck in. Look at me, I put it in backwards. Make sure it's fully locked in, it can't come out. And that's one gator, babe. So we gotta clean up our mess. We'll go to the next line. We'll get the next gator. I started way in the back back here. So I know I had some gators on them. So we're coming back. I know three of my lines got gators. So we're gonna go get them three gators. Another gator. Look like he wrapped up in the old cypress knees too. Why they, why they get up in them cypress knees like that? He's somewhere else right there. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Make sure I got a bullet in my gun. Got a bullet in my gun. Oh. I might be right. I must have another cyber in me right now. Oh, dang stick. Hard. I ain't got a lot of string to work with right here. Watch out. Oh, I got it on safety. <clears throat> Same thing. We'll get them all wrapped up. Taken care of. I don't think he's dead. <laughs> I think he's passing away. So we'll get them all loaded up in the boat, baby. That's two. Look like they're about the same size. He might be a little bit bigger. We're gonna run to the last one and we'll cut you on when we're done. So sometimes you get stuff like this, you know. Not every line's gonna have an alligator. So I got three of them that's hanging in the trees. I got three lines that had alligators, and I got three lines that don't have alligators. So this is a prime example. You know, we gotta pick it up. Hey, you go put that on your barbecue pit? Sauce bon. Like, I don't know how to describe that to you. Let me get a little bit closer. Shallow right here. 
Oh yeah. Bring that to your favorite cookout, your cousin that you love, you give them that one. So we'll get all this cleaned up out the trees and everything, you know. I'm not gonna throw it in the water. Throw that. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Kind of clean all our mess off of here. Get everything to bring it back home. It's like anything in life, you know. You you win some, you lose some. But at the end of the day, we're having fun. Because if I wouldn't have done this, I wouldn't be out here with my dad catching alligators. Well, we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish running. I'm gonna finish getting everything done. I'm gonna go catch this last alligator. I'm gonna pick up the other two lines that's empty. And we'll cut you on and we'll show you and we'll take you out on the lake, babe. Well, that's it. That's the 2024 alligator lottery. These gators, they're probably about five, six foot long. I had to say six foot long, maybe seven to 80 pounds. We'll find more information out when we get to the dock. But this is another part of the conservation of Louisiana. It's a good thing to do so the alligator population doesn't get out of control and affect another wildlife species, you know. But we're going to take these. We're going to go get them processed at the dock facility. And I'll see y'all in the next video, baby. All right, baby. That's the end of this video. I had a great time. Thank you to the state of Louisiana for giving me the opportunity to get outside and enjoy the great outdoors. I caught three alligators. I think my biggest one was six foot eleven. I had filmed the end of this video, but it, for some reason the file corrupted on my SD card, so I do have the recording off my phone. But other than that, I had a great time with my father. I had a great time. I got to explore. I got to go sightsee things that I normally wouldn't go do or places I normally wouldn't go. And I had a, just a really jam up time. I'm sorry that the videos haven't been coming like normal. We had got a hurricane. We had got over 20 inches of rain in two hours, and I wound up getting three inches of water in my house. And the camp's all right. I went out there. A lot of tree destruction. A lot of mess. I've been cleaning up out there. I've been taking my time to just, you know, clean up. The poison sumac and the poison oak has been tearing me up. It's all over my body. It's starting to cure now a little bit, you know, a little bit of medicine, a little bit of soap. But we're going to get back out there on the next video, baby. It's just everything's just been scrambles and hectic, you know what I mean? But I had to go get these alligators. I had a great time. It was perfect weather. That lake that I was in, Lake Verrett, man, that thing would get rough. And I just got lucky that the two days that I went, it was slick, calm. The fish were jumping. They had a few fish kills here and there, you know what I mean? But hopefully this next storm that's coming, it doesn't affect us too much. And I still don't want to put the roof on my camp until I know what this next storm's going to do. Just for the fact that the tree destruction that happened at the camp. My house, we had trees down everywhere, and we helped the neighbors out. We got the chainsaws, we went cut everything. I let people borrow my chainsaw to help them out, you know what I mean? But thank, thank all of you for tuning in this week. I appreciate it. I love all of y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one, baby.